their uh, savings goal. 52% of the accounts are dormant. That is, a, that is an issue that we have in, in the whole bank. 50% of our accounts are dormant. And this is a very, very powerful learning is that our balances in the, in the savings, in the community savings, are almost double, they almost double the, the Tutti Cuenta balances. And this is a very interesting uh, learning for us because we didn't, we didn't think that kids were able to save that much money. Uh, and our kids are the, the second socioeconomic level in our society. And go to the next one. Thank you. Um, and there are various to the deposit. So our main lessons are low income use can and one save at the bank. Tutti Cuenta has had a long story in the bank and its debit card without any fee make it very attractive and easier to sell because Cuenta Amiga doesn't have a debit card, Tutti Cuenta does, and Tutti Cuenta still sells a lot of accounts every month. And in some cases, clients open two accounts, but only use Tutti Cuenta. However, savings balances of Cuenta Amiga confirm that you are able to commit to a goal and actually achieve it, and the account is suitable for that need. And there are barriers to post low amounts of savings in a bad way, and these may disincentivize savings. However, to some of them, this isn't a barrier when it comes to achieve goals. In that video, maybe you can watch it later because I don't think we have time, but there is a video where uh, a kid from a very low income a town near Cartagena goes every month to Cartagena, that is like a one hour away, and go and save in the account. Uh, and this is a great learning from our experiment on SMS on Tutti Cuenta, is that views are less likely to withdraw if you remember them to save to meet their goals once per month. Once per month. So if you send them one SMS per month saying, hey, remember to say, go and deposit in the bank, that will uh, make them withdraw less. That's our great uh, learning from this experiment. That's it. Hey. Well, thank you very much, Carolina, for the great presentation. Um, I remind all participants, if you have any questions, please save them for the end of the webinar. We're going to um, open the floor for questions and comments. So uh, without further ado, I give the floor to Miguel Angel. Uh, <clears throat> Ignacio, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yes. Uh, I, I would like to start uh, in my speech of this webinar uh, trying to describe uh, some important ideas. No? First of all, uh, who, we, who we are as a microbank. The second one is uh, which is our market and our targets of customers. I think it's a very important point. And the third thing could be what we are doing and what we can offer to your entrepreneurs or your people. Uh, first of all, we must to consider that uh, the microfinance sector in Spain is still characterized by a lack of regulatory framework and a lack of coordination at the national level. No? In, uh, in Spain, there are three most important Spanish banks, but uh, we know uh, Banco Bilbao Vizcaya, Santander, and also Caixa Bank. But only Caixa Bank fraud microbank, the name explains also our, our goal, our own idea, uh, only makes microloans. Uh, Caixa Bank uh, chose the direct strategy setting up in the 2007 a new institution uh, called Microbank. As a social bank within La Caixa, channeled the microcredit activity uh, carried on up to the Caixa Bank Throat Ins Foundation. And also, Caixa Bank has focused its business model growth in Spain. Uh, what it means, we belong to a financial group, uh, a very big financial group is from La Caixa. La Caixa before was a savings bank, but now has been changed as a bank foundation, is a new uh, European figure. 
uh, we, uh, we are also uh, belonging to the Caixa Bank Group that, uh, that offers the uh, banking activity uh, in, the national, in the national country. Uh, Microbank uh, began operating in the 2007 with a deep impact in the access to the credit. Uh, at that time, uh, microfinance projects were for population groups in a clear situation of financial or social exclusion, uh, giving more importance to the aid they provide than their financial function. Uh, La Caixa uh, tried to offer us sustainable solutions to society demands throughout Microbank. As an example, in the last year, uh, Microbank provides funds to uh, 50,700 projects based on ethical and social banking models. Then, in the present context, Microbank has been able to respond to the changes in demand, providing access to credit for people who might usually find it difficult to get funding for their projects, also young people. Our mission is focused on a segment of activity non-traditionally attractive to the financial system. We can name this segment as the base of the pyramid, as we can see on the slide. Our approach is oriented to generate enough value to carry out our mission sustainable. Microbanks uh, combines the contribution of value in social terms with the generation of resources needed for the project to continue to grow as an organization. What uh, we can offer? We can offer the, uh, the typical products uh, from a bank. In one part, in the most part, are uh, loans, but not normal loans, if not micro loans. We offer uh, loans until 20,000 euros maximum. The, uh, the entrepreneur uh, people could use this quantity or less to their projects. We, our mission is focused uh, to different points, the promotion of productive, uh, productive activity and job creation, uh, second, self-employment, third, personal and family development, and fourth, and more important, financial inclusion. As we can see, as we can see in the next uh, slide, youth segment is also a group of microbank targets. Uh, why? Entrepreneurs financially excluded or who may have difficulties accessing the traditional credit system uh, are young people, unemployment and also new residents, who propose a viable business plan that promotes productivity, productive activity and job creation. The second uh, segment, self-employed and small business people with an annual income of less than 60,000 who need to finance the creation or expansion of a small business. Third segment, micro enterprises, with less than 10 employees and an annual turnover below 1 million in need of funding for the creation and expansion for a business project. And fourth, people and families with an annual income of less than 18,000 euros who need to deal with a family needs or overcome temporary difficulties. In our market, as, as a pity in the national policy, uh, Spain economy uh, has uh, has uh, developed uh, a very uh, vulnerable uh, population in young people. Uh, we are uh, we are trying to develop an expansion, but we have passed a great uh, recession, and we are the first. We have a, a bad statistical European statisticals about youth unemployment that we can see on the on the graphic. Then what we can do for this situation? First of all is education, financial education for youth entrepreneurs in four steps. To use our model, we have, uh, we have choose partners uh, which are placed around the national territory. We have more than 500 partners which provide financial capabilities to entrepreneurs. Within the youth segment, for example, we work with INJUVE. INJUVE is a youth Spanish institute uh, who belongs to the uh, central government. How does it work? 
I, for example, your entrepreneur who wants to set up a business but doesn't have business skills goes to a non-governmental organization in partnership with Microbank as a partner. And this organization will provide for free basic and financial and business education and training with aim to come up with a business plan. Once financial skills are learned, go for a loan. Once the youth entrepreneur has the business plan, she will go for a microbank branch to apply for a loan. We are a little bank, but we are using the branch of the uh, big financial group, all the branches uh, expanded in all the national territory, in order to be more uh, near to uh, this entrepreneur. And also what we can offer, we can offer a loan, a loan for, uh, with a, a lower quantity to this, uh, to this entrepreneur, but also with a lower interest rate. What it means in comparison with the normal uh, loan, we can, offer, uh, we can offer a better price. We can offer a better price uh, also because we have other capabilities uh, in, uh, in order to the cost of the capital. What about the uh, young entrepreneurs? Our goal with this segment is to support the young entrepreneurs, especially those who have difficulty getting funding due to their economic and social circumstances. Uh, only to give uh, a quantity during the last year, microcredits to this segment at the last months were granted for a total of seven, 707,000 and 31 uh, euros. Signed partnership agreements with universities and research centers to drive entrepreneurship and facilitate startups. And also, these agreements uh, has the mission or try to help graduates to find to work and promote their personal and professional development. As we can see, a very large part of the microcredits are issued to people aged under 35. We also have uh, stat internal statisticals that uh, more than this 36% are uh, developed by people less than 26 years old. What uh, are doing the collaborating entities? The main idea is that these entities, these partners, offering knowledge. The, these collaboration entities uh, act as a link between entrepreneurs and microbank, offering professional support in driving up business plans and monitoring their implementation, as web of services including the following. First, pro these entities provide to us knowledge about the customers applying for a microcredit, because we don't know these customers. Perhaps this future customer is a client from La Caixa. Perhaps is not, is not a client. But the first idea, the first knowledge uh, is coming from these collaboration entities. The second is providing entrepreneurs with specialist advice and support services. To do a business plan uh, needs uh, requirements. These requirements are shown by these collaboration entities. They provide necessity to drive up the business plan and assets, its viability and coherence in advance. Perhaps the main idea, uh, uh, more than knowledge, could be the coherence in the business plan. The third, the third support is helping to expand the coverage of the product and service distribution network especially among the groups with aggressive difficulties in accessing finance, as, in our case, young people. In experience, it could be uh, a very big problem in order to start a new business. And uh, the fourth, including respect for human rights and environmental sustainability in entrepreneurs' goals. In addition to the economic profit, these values are essential in contributing to positive social progress, as we consider in uh, in the, in the main ideas of microbank. How it works? More or less, the entrepreneur, the people who has the, the business idea, 
must approach the organization with a business plan and, and documentation supporting their business idea. If I have uh, any ideas uh, what, uh, what I would like to do, if I would like to invest uh, in, a, in a special manner, we need also uh, a support, a uh, perform factures, uh, we need, uh, sorry, a support bills, uh, we need any documentation about this idea, how the entrepreneur could do this into the future. The collaboration entity gives the entrepreneur a certificate that they have drawn up a business plan with a support. Once the entrepreneur explains the idea to the partner, the partner helps the entrepreneur how to develop this idea as a, uh, as a business plan. If the business plan could be considered uh, viable in, in the profits uh, way, then this uh, partner gives this certificate. The certificate allows to Microban to consider that this business idea has, be, has been made in a correct form, more or less express. With this uh, certificate and their business plan, the entrepreneur can go to their nearest branch of La Caixa, where they will be interviewed and offered the line of finance best suited to the project. Because one uh, characteristic of the microcredits and the microloans are that we don't ask uh, for collaterals. As we can see, a microbank uh, is increasing uh, since the, the 2007. We continue giving more loans to young people and also unemployed uh, young people. We, uh, we play a counter-cyclical role in the youth segments. Why? More crises uh, we have, uh, difficult, difficult problems uh, to have uh, incomes, uh, difficult problems to have profits, uh, difficult problems to have a, a job, to win a salary, more problems we have, more crises uh, we have in the, in the economy, more quantity of uh, borrowers uh, we have asking for uh, financial ideas. As we can see, the increases are, uh, uh, are rising each year. And what about the young segment? We can see in only based in our experience and in our statistical database that, for example, youth entrepreneurs with financial skills learn from INJUVE. INJUVE is the, this uh, national organization belonging to the, to the government, perform better than other entrepreneurs. It means they are better? No, not better. But young people, young people, consider uh, as uh, inex inexperience and young people uh, that uh, that they have problems to access uh, to the funding to, to develop their business ideas in relation to other segments but but these segments can be considered as other partners uh, the other partners which assess other segments, in Juve, in this case, plays in a better way. Mm? Each uh, bar express only the, the kind of partner that we can uh, find in the national area. And also, we only uh, offer uh, our products or customers uh, microcredits? No. We have the typical services, the most important, the most knowledge products are the microloans, but also uh, customers can have uh, a sa the typical savings account. Eh? In this case, we can see in our total balance uh, in savings accounts um, expressed by age of customers, as we can see on the graphic, the data from December uh, the 2015, that ages between 27 and 35, around the 40% of our saving accounts comes from your population. All this data, all these statistics are uh, expressed or, or comes from our situation. How we can do uh, all these uh, ideas in a in a very important way uh, from the support from the European institutions 
uh, inessential for microbans growth because we need also and we have also European investment fund these European institutions uh, applies or gives to us a direct guarantee in other cases uh, offers credit facilities and uh, in other ways in other cases uh, we have uh, funding agreements and more or less uh, this is the idea then uh, I would like to express about uh, uh, microbank microcredits only to uh, remember in the in my last explanation in Spain, uh, are a tool for social insertion that uh, essentially aims to promoting entrepreneurship among women, uh, youth, and migrants. Uh, we uh, have more or less the idea that we think uh, globally, but uh, we try to act locally. Uh, this is all uh, the, the presentation from Microbank. Uh, thank you for your attention. And thank you very much, Miguel Angel, uh, for, for such an insightful presentation. I think we are right on time. So I encourage all participants to write their questions on the chat board. Uh, make sure you send it to everyone. And uh, yeah, I will also give the floor uh, to Ms. Joyce if she wants to make any fi uh, final remarks on the presentations. Presentations were were extremely interesting, and it was very interesting to have the the, the, the youth save program on the one hand, and of course from Microbank uh, this whole question of uh, financial inclusion and the important thing of of creating jobs. So I do have some questions, but perhaps um, I will wait until some some of the other questions come up on the board. Excellent. So we have a question. Yeah, we have a question from Alejandra Montes. Uh, thank you for your question. She asks, who provides the funding for partner NGOs to be able to provide the financial education and entrepreneurship training for free? Uh, the question is for Miguel Angel. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ignacio. The the question was, who provides the the funding for these partners? Yes, for the NGO partners to be able to provide the financial education and entrepreneurship training for free. Okay. The, the main funding uh, provides from the old group from La Caixa because uh, Microbank, Microbank belongs to La Caixa and La Caixa is the owner of the 100% of, of Microbank no? as, a, as a bank. We also have the old part of savings bank in the sheet balance, the liabilities from customers. And also we have uh, funding from European uh, European entities. But for the partners, the agreements uh, with the Spanish partners, uh, we must consider that in most cases uh, there are public entities, organizations. And also, uh, as a public entity, uh, their influence area depends on their geographical nature. For example, uh, a town hall provides local services. But what's the what's the goal for a town hall that has an agreement with Microbank? The the goal is to develop the local economy. In this case, in the public partners, um, they they don't ask for funding in order to uh, increase the micro loan as a business. If not, they are uh, adapting, they are trying to resolve business problems that uh, they have locally. Great. Okay. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Any other questions uh, for the panel? Yes, we do have one for Carolina. Uh, it's a comment. It is very important that everyone save, especially the young ones. Do you find that the introduction of the debit card causes the youth to be less mindful about saving, or is it clear to them that they must achieve their goal to save? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, I think we think that having a debit card, you always have the temptation of getting your savings out. So 
we have to we have to choose when we develop the cuenta amiga whether or not we will do, we will give we will issue the debit card or not. Usually, usually in a debit card, it also increases the cost of the account, and these uh, low value savings accounts are very costly for the bank given the financial model. So it has two effects. It won't help them to achieve their goals. And second, it will increase the cost of the account. Thank you very much, Carolina. Um, I was wondering if there are any other questions on the panel. Otherwise, I'll give the floor uh, to Ms. Fiona for some questions. Okay, uh, thank you, Ignacio. Just a question, first of all, to um, Carolina. I, you mentioned in your presentation that uh, one of the um, disadvantages or um, constraints, maybe, about your new um, savings product was that people have to, they don't, young people don't like standing in line at the banks at the bank, and I presume that means that they have to come to the bank to deposit the money. So I was just wondering whether um, that really is an issue, and if, for example, you were considering any other sort of delivery um, channels to allow people to make these deposits, either electronically or going to schools or through partners, or would this make the product even more costly? Any comments on that? Yes. Um, thank you. Thanks for that question. Yes, our kids, they feel very far from the bank, and they don't like to wait in line. And what we have we have been working, not only for youth, but for all our clients, is that we need to have a better reach for our clients. We want to reach the client and not the client's reach up. So we are developing a very dense uh, network of agents. Mm. that are going to be able to receive deposits and keep uh, withdrawals. Okay. So nowadays we have a brand, a network of more than 3,000 non-banking non agents, but um, it's not fully developed, but we are working on it. Okay, thank you. I do have a question from Carolina uh, to Miguel. She's asking, what's the percentage of loans that are not paid? Uh, uh, okay, we, we must to consider that uh, Microban offers uh, different products. As uh, loans, we have uh, microcredits for entrepreneurs, and also we have microcredits for personal and family microcredits, and also we have eco microcredits. No, uh, what it means? Each uh, segment has uh, its uh, own uh, problem. Uh, in order to pay. It's not the same, for example, that the microcredit for a family or a personal uh, object than, for example, uh, microcredit for entrepreneurial. The, 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 answer, the, the answer could be that, for example, last year, the default radio, the average default radio was 2.30% uh, of uh, default. But uh, inside this uh, ratio, we can find different levels uh, depending the kind of microcredits. Thank you, Miguel. Um, yes. Um, I believe there are other questions. Um, I have one for Banco Caja Social for Carolina. I was wondering um, what do you think where or are the main regulatory challenges in Colombia for the youth saving program? Could you please say that again? Yeah, sure. I was wondering what were the main regulatory challenges in Colombia when you started the youth saving program? Okay, the re regulatory challenges. Um, when we started, we ha we wanted to make a very extensive research, research about how the economic Variables such as the strata, income, uh, if you whether you live in the city or in the rural areas, uh, affected your savings behaviors. So we wanted to do a different uh, survey or uh, an additional survey when kids open the, the account, but that was very difficult because a new law came in which demanded that or if you wanted if you want to take data from kids. 
you need the permission or the authorization from their uh, guardian or parent. So in Colombia, kids and all uh, children or youth above uh, 14 years old, they can go by themselves to the, to the bank and open the account. So most of them went to the went to the bank without the parent. So we weren't able to catch that data. And second, uh, it was very difficult for to put that uh, additional process in the branches. It was very, very, very difficult. So that's, that's it's very difficult to reach children because the law demands us to have the authorization of the parents. Thank you, Carolina. Uh, Ms. Trina, do you have any other questions for the speakers? This is Fiona, Fiona Joy speaking. Um, oh, you mentioned yes. that, yeah, sorry, you, you mentioned that in, uh, Miguel, that uh, you gave a favorable interest rates on the, the loans uh, to the, the, the various micro loans. Um, is there any connection, for example, between the interest rate and if somebody already has is using your basic savings account? Do you have any link between, in that respect, between, or an incentive, if you like, if somebody saves, that they would have a more advantageous um, interest rate, or is that not, not, not relevant? And the other question I want to ask is, are you, are you I, do I imagine, do I assume you are operating all through Spain because? Um, an, an entrepreneur can go to any branch of La Caixa to request a microloan once they have done their business plan with the uh, in Juve or with any other partner, NGO? Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I answer to the, the first question. In the first, in the first case, uh, if uh, a customer or a future customer asks uh, us for a, for a loan, the fact that uh, there are uh, more products uh, only help us to understand the, the financial behavior no, of this customer, of this uh, borrower. What we consider the micro loan, uh, it's offering uh, for the entrepreneurs as a, as a loan without any collaterals or guarantees then we must uh, to study and to consider the quality and quantity aspects of the business plan. Um, if there are other uh, banking products, they give more money uh, as a data to consider, in, uh, as I explained, to, to try to forecast the future of the operation. Uh, for example, if, uh, if a future customer or entrepreneur asks us for a loan, and we can see uh, that uh, if he has a, a very big uh, savings account, it expressed to us that uh, this entrepreneur has the ability to generate cash or incomes, and perhaps uh, a person who, who can generate uh, incomes uh, will have a, a lower probability of default into the future. Um, in other in other sense, the the price, the interest rate, it means and express the price of the loan. It's true that we have uh, funding from La Caixa. We also have funding uh, from, uh, from our customers who has uh, savings accounts. But also uh, the interest rates also depends on the inherent risk of the operation and the consumption of capital. Uh, in this case, is is in relation to Basilea agreements. Uh, as, uh, as we answered uh, before, our price could be between uh, 80 to 11 percent, depending more or less the uh, inherent risk of uh, the operation. Okay. In, the second, in the second question, Microbank uh, operates uh, in, all, in all the country, in all, in all, the, in all the Spain, and also the, uh, the future customers and the planners can go in any branch uh, they, they have more near. The branches are completely approached to all the, the people of the, of the nation. This is the, the Spanish model that we have here in banking. Uh, what it means? It's better to, to go to Barcelona to ask for a loan, or perhaps it's better to go to Vitoria or in other part of uh, Spain. 
I think the answer has has different different points of view. If uh, if we must to consider that uh, in Spain there are uh, more uh, we can we can say rich places or rich areas, for example, Catalonia, País Vasco, Madrid, then perhaps we can uh, think that in these parts of Spain, business will go growth more quickly, or perhaps we will have more profits, or we, or we have the choice to have more profits. But what happens if my idea of business is a small business in a small town in Extremadura? Perhaps the idea is a very big idea, and as a local business, this business could have profits. I think the, the answer of this question uh, could have different choices on uh, different perspectives. Uh, people can go uh, to any any branch. We only consider that uh, the branch nearest to the entrepreneur uh, offers to us or give us more information about the quantity and the quality of the business plan of the entrepreneur. Well, thank you, Miguel Angel. We have two last questions before we have uh, we end this webinar. One is from Alejandra Monte uh, to Miguel. She's asking what type of training has to be provided to La Caixa branch staff in order for them to be able to interview the potential entrepreneurs and offer the line of finance best suited to the project? Yes. The workers from uh, workers from La Prasha, uh, workers uh, which are working in, in the branch, are used uh, to, to discover which is the best product for the customer. Uh, what it means? Uh, it's it's a peculiar idea because when a customer comes to the to, to a branch, normally the first idea is uh, I need money, okay? But which kind or which characteristic of product it's better to your uh, situation? It's not the same uh, to ask for a mortgage in a long term. Uh, uh, long-term product that, uh, for example, to ask for a, for a loan, uh, only for a, uh, for example, for, for summer, no? Because in summer I haven't any uh, business activity. Workers who work in in the branch are specialists to discover uh, the best product as a suite for the customer. One of these products that they can offer is the microloan. And also, the, the branch is, a, is another barrier uh, that uh, asks for the minimum requisites that, uh, that we ask for an entrepreneur. We have, see, we have seen on the slides that the entrepreneur must to go to a partner of, uh, of Microban. Uh, this partner of Microban uh, must to uh, give to this entrepreneur a certificate that uh, express the business plan is made in a good way. And also, as a last barrier, the branch uh, try to catch all this information, all these requirements, in order before to send us this, uh, the asking for the loan. Then, not only for microbank, if not for all the financial products that the workers of, uh, from La Caixa uh, are specialists, they are uh, a very basic key into the chain of uh, asking microcredits to microbank. Thank you very much, Miguel Angel. Thank you very much, Carolina. We have a last question. It's a bit hard to answer in now. Uh, one or two sentences, but we're going to try. It's uh, the question is to all the panelists. It's on what's your view on the business case for youth financial services? Is this a is this a reasonably uh, profitable area for financial services providers, or at least break even? Uh, he also wants to congratulate Microbank and Banco Caja Social for the support of young people. So I give the floor to the speakers. And about the business case, very, very simple. 
it depends on what financial model you are looking at. If you have a financial model where you put the like the thing, thing, uh, cost of the cost of branches, the cost of personnel, the personnel in branches, and my my wage in this model, then you won't have a break even even for this account for for non paying account. So you have to do to see this uh, the, the profitability of this account in a different way. And being savings, as long as the savings can keep, you can keep savings in the account, the better the profitability because with these savings you can give loans to other other segments. So it depends on what you see. And the other, the, uh, how you see it. And the other, um, the other good thing about giving products for the youth is that you can enroll them into your bank and have a long-term relationship with them. So you can uh, update your client base in a currently place. Yeah. Okay, in, in my opinion, uh, I, I'm remembering uh, a Japanese phrase, uh, more or less the, the idea was that uh, a long way starts uh, with uh, the first step. Um, young people, young people can can study, can 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 choose to to be prepared, uh, to have abilities, to have uh, knowledge, to have skills, uh, to develop a professional career and, and in express that into the future. Perhaps they will they will win a salary, they will have profits and also incomes. No. But um, I think the fin financial job services could be also not in a, in a, as a normal economy. I'm remembering also the low-cost services. Uh, we have uh, any, any cases, uh, any Spanish cases and also international cases working in Spain that also reflects to the economy that in the lower business, lower business uh, wins profits, perhaps not in any product or any service, if not in a quantity, in a quantity, in a big quantity of services uh, given to the customers. In my idea, I think that uh, young people are the future. And if we help these young people, we are uh, we are placing, we are putting the first stone to develop perhaps uh, a big business into the future. Uh, I completely agree to to to, uh, to discover uh, to the business case of uh, financial services. Uh, thank you for your attention, and it has been uh, a pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much, Miguel Ángel. Thank you very much, Carolina. Uh, I think, well, thank you for your answer. Thank you for the insightful presentations. It's really hard to uh, explain the business case in one minute, but yeah, I think you did both great. Um, I think for our side, uh, we will be happy to share the final presentations together with the recordings of the webinar. Uh, we'll be doing this as soon as we're done uh, with this webinar. And I want to thank you all for participating. I want to thank you all for being on this webinar and for making these questions. And uh, for the final remarks, I'll give the floor uh, to Ms. Fiona Joyce from WSBI. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ignacio. I think you've basically said everything. I would really very much like to thank the speakers. Uh, they were excellent presentations, and I think your um, answers to the questions posed were also insightful. And I also would like to thank the participants at the webinars for posing these questions. And thank you very much. For me, it was the first experience of a webinar with child and youth finance, and it was very enriching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, everyone. Or a bye -bye. good day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.